If you're new or relatively new to four wheeling, aka four wheel driving, then this information covered in this video will help you better understand what equipment you need to start out with, essential equipment, bare essential, and some information that will help you get started. Hi, I'm Ronnie from Four Wheeling in Western Australia. Let's start off with the equipment, bare essentials. Okay, so you have your stock four wheel drive. You don't need any modifications to actually go off road. Your standard tyres are fine as well. Okay, you're just limited to what you can do. So we're just going into bare essentials. Okay, this is for you guys who are just starting out. So first thing, first things first, tyres are the main thing. Tyre gauge, you can lower your tyres with this as well. Or you can use a rock and a stick to lower them, but you still need this to know how low your tyre is. Tyre pressures, go to our website and see how much you should really have in there for different situations. Or you can you know, spend a little bit more bucks and get a rapid deflator or these screw on ones, they automatically deflate your tyres all. Now, you finish off-roading, you need to pump them up again, otherwise you damage your tyres on the road. So, get a compressor. You can honestly get these for as low as $30 Australian. You don't need the big, you know, fandangle thing. You just... Okay, shovel. Uh, main basic tool for, for recovery. Now, if you don't want to go buy a little compact one, just bring your garden shovel. Long handle is better if you can fit it. Garbage bags, must have. Please keep them in your car. Don't leave garbage out in the bush. Take everything out with you. Um, first aid kit, basic cut and burns, or you can go to full road trauma kit. Up to you. And UHFs, you don't, you don't, have to have them, but we highly recommend you have these for communication. And of course, you have your jack in the vehicle. Now, a jack is meant for hard, solid ground. So, when you're on the sand or out in the bush, it might be, might not be level, it might be too soft, it will sink. Get a board like that. You know, it's just a simple board, off cut. That'll help keep the uh, jack secure. Next thing is recovery points. Now recovery points, you must have fitted to your vehicle. A lot of people don't have them. You should have them, because you can't use a tow ball. A tow ball would shear off and kill someone. So you can get a tow hitch like this from any full drive shop, and that just goes into the back and uses a pin. Now you don't have to get one of these, you can just use the pin, and the pin can go through the strap. I've never heard of any of these breaking ever. Now for the front is a different matter. The front of the vehicle, you have factory points. So instead of fact, the factory points will just shear off. All they're for is for um, towing your vehicle on tarmac. And the other point is just a tie down point, which is for shipping when I ship the vehicles over. Now, so what we need is, a, first of all, a rated recovery point. Now, not all vehicles have this available. so. The next step is a, a adequate recovery point. Now, adequate recovery points, I use them on my Hilux, which I had before, and they are fine. But what I suggest is with a rated point, you can get away with one. With an adequate point, they say you can get away with one, but I'd rather put two on. Put two on, and then you can use a bridle or a tree trunk protector to divide the load. And you can see on the photo there how that's done. Now, uh, snap strap, you should really have this as well, they're pretty cheap as well, just have one in the car because if you get stuck and someone else comes along, they can help recover you because not everyone likes to use their gear to recover someone else, you know, you should really have that or if their strap breaks, then you have a backup one. Okay, so that's the pretty much bare essentials but don't forget how you're going to recover yourself with a recovery point if there's no one else around. Well, Recovery boards like Max Tracks and Treads, these are Max Tracks. They work excellent and are real simple to use. They can be used as a shovel as well. So you could actually eliminate your shovel, but it's just easier with a shovel. All right, so that is the bare essentials and gear. So you've got your stock full drive, you've got your bare essential gear. The next step is where do you go? Where to go? Who to go with? Well, if you're lucky enough to have friends and family that go four-wheeling, go with them. 
And if you do that, that can actually eliminate a lot of the gear you need because if they carry a shovel and you are going with them, well, you only really need one shovel. You can eliminate some of the gear. All right, so the next thing you need to know is where can you go and where are you allowed to go? Now, if you're local to Western Australia, well, then you're lucky because our website covers a lot of tracks in Western Australia. Now, if you're interstate or overseas, then the four-wheel drive forum, your local four-wheel drive forum, online forum, is probably your best friend in finding tracks and probably in finding people to go with. Now, you need to know your local laws and all that, your local rules. And the other thing, which I don't know internationally, but in Australia, especially Western Australia, it is very hard to know where you're allowed to go and where you're not allowed to go. That information is not readily available for most places. Okay, so you've got your bare essentials, you know where you're going, now you need to know how to tackle the terrain you're driving on. In order to do that, we highly recommend you check out our website. It has, it, we have a link here, it covers every different type of terrain that you may come across. So check that out because there is no short answer to how you're supposed to drive in this terrain. So go in there, just read the segment you need and go out and have some fun. Okay folks, you now know the basics of full driving and your bare essentials. But you must also realise that you are responsible for your vehicle and your passengers when you're off-road. And there's something else you need to go have a look at because the full drive community expects something from anyone who full drives from beginners to experienced. And they're the written and unwritten rules. Now, on this link here, and the link below, please go to there. It'll go to a page covering what this video has covered, but in much more detail. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And website, fullwheelingandwesternaustralia.com. And I'll catch you out there. See ya.